Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to another Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber. This time it's Monday the 3rd of April, so time is slipping away as seems to just be the way, kind of getting into, I guess, just the norm of this now. Um, been going for whew, nearly 15 months, I think it's about 14 months, yeah, 14 months just over 14 months and yeah it's just kind of the days blurring together really now um, which is good and bad uh, it means it feels less special but I feel much more comfortable in what I'm doing such as talking to you guys now um, so anyway this week we got three videos done so not an awful lot of content up but it was a demo for Gloom of Killforth which is this kind of RPG card game thing um beautiful beautiful artwork i really do recommend you have a look at that um they are looking at getting into retail i believe kickstarter is going to be delivering soon i think it's even possible to get a late pledge at this time so if you contact them i think you can do that um, and the game it looks really good um so yeah if you want to find out more do watch that video uh, Kaleido Cards. Now this is an unusual one because it's not really a game. It's a game system. You know like you'd have a pack of playing cards and there'd be tons of games that you can play with this pack of playing cards. It's that same sort of concept. It's a hundred cards. The cards have different colours of background, a word, and the word is a different colour. And it's all to do with the fact that how these colours work etc. Um, and you can do a lot of different interesting games as part of the demo we played quite a few of them and I was really surprised at just how much fun this was and how versatile it is so if that sounds of interest do take a look at that and then the other video that went up finally was a review of this little tin box game Dice of Crowns so this is a push your luck game with a little take that element there uh, if you want to learn more do take a look at that review so, what has this meant for this week? Uh, and I've forgotten to do the figures again. <laughs> um, the, the actual maths of the figures, anyway. So, anyway, uh, Kickstarter. So, the Kickstarter is now in its final few days. It's been going five weeks. We have, like, two days left. Unfortunately, we are below where we were last week. I don't really think this has anything to do with the videos. I think videos and the Kickstarter are quite separate really. Um, I think you have to be quite a big fan to even consider the Kickstarter and the videos themselves and content aren't directing you to that Kickstarter hugely. Now this loss is just a couple of people dropped pledges. Unfortunately they were people with high level pledges. We've actually gained seven people so we lost two so we've actually gained nine people pledging which is really good and unfortunately it's just that they're pledging at lower levels than the people we lost so that's why we've ended up down now the big downside of this is we're actually below a stretch goal that got unlocked which was the polls which was really good because that meant you know more interaction with you guys so yeah hopefully these last few days we'll get that back up we'll get that unlocked and maybe something else as well so then Facebook, um, last week I talked about no longer talking about this in weeks because it's kind of not that relevant anymore. And I mean, you can track the weeks by the date if you really want to. But when you're talking 60 weeks, etc., people can't really imagine that. They're not really sure what that equates to. I find that anyway, so I'm sure other people do. So I'm just going to kind of say 14 weeks now. Um, that's all the figures, you know, everything we're talking, just around 14 weeks. And it's going to be the same around 14 weeks for probably the next two or three weeks. I'll be saying it as 14 weeks until we hit around the 23rd and then it'll be 15 weeks. Uh, sorry, not weeks, months. Um, so that gives more of a, all oh right, that's a year and three months, a year and two months, etc. Much more understandable for people. So the actual figures, likes on Facebook, we've reached 2,640, which actually is quite a nice increase looking at this. Um, 
yeah it's about 62 so that is higher increase than we saw last week so that's pretty good I imagine as is the case a lot of the time when the giveaways are going that a lot of that is coming from the giveaways but still it's nice to see increases whatever their cause really 9968 Twitter followers so there again we have seen an increase but not as good as we've seen on Facebook that's only 56 so much more come from Facebook than Twitter um, no idea why really I guess maybe just I tend to be more active on Facebook um, more involved in groups and community and discussions so I think maybe that's kind of skewing it towards Facebook however historically that's been the case and still Twitter has been the bigger factor so yeah I think I think we are seeing more and more the growth is coming from Facebook rather than Twitter though and I think that is due to how active I am and maybe I've kind of hit a plateau on Twitter of I don't know natural growth without that interaction but anyway, so yeah, that was this Twitter, uh, YouTube. So YouTube, let's see, subs were up to 4,111. So this is 90 more than last week. 90 is a really nice amount. I mean, yeah, obviously a lot of that's going to be the giveaway and we'll have to see what happens when the giveaway finishes which is going to be tomorrow if we have the drop that I kind of I expect to see that drop but we've gained a nice number recently we are continuing to grow and I think it's not just the giveaway that's causing this growth I think the giveaway accelerates the growth in figures but we are actually gaining more viewers as well and that's probably more down to searches than any form of promotion that I actually do and I'll come to that in a minute I think when I'm talking about what's been viewed this week etc um, but talking about views we had 100 well no we didn't have we are at 189,280 so we're getting tantalizingly close to that 200,000 now so this compared to last week uh, we were at 83 and a half so yeah it's about the 5,000 so it's about what we saw last week but with much less videos released and yeah this is what I was going to come back to really with regards to what really helps the channel grow it is those evergreen videos those videos that come up in searches you know someone wants to learn boss monster 2 they search they find my video they think wow this guy does good videos i'll look at other content of his and that kind of is what seems to generate the most natural growth the the most interactive and i would say the best type of growth now i go and i promote my videos you know i go look look watch this video for this new thing i put it on twitter i put it on facebook I put it on board game geek and people don't seem to really care I mean they might go oh I'll watch that one video but they don't then come back they don't then watch other content or they rarely seem to and I think I don't know I guess maybe it's because it's been shoved in their face that it is just a yeah I guess I'm interested in that but they don't go beyond that Whereas if they've searched for it, if they've wanted to find that content and you're the one who's provided it for them, that creates a connection there of they wanted something and you gave it to them. It's, it's almost like they asked you for a favour and you did it. And I think that is kind of helps with the interaction. So anyway, going back to what this is all meant, I mean, again, the big views... If you take out the ones that were competition entries, so this was our aircon quiz and room 101 videos, if you take those out of the equation, those were the most viewed. But that's not surprising. They're actually viewed probably by a fewer number of people, but they view them multiple times because they view them every day. And so I don't think we can really include those. I don't think those views necessarily count. Um, 
So yeah, if you take those out, you're left with those evergreens. The ones that I keep talking about, and they are what is growing the channel. They are what's keeping the channel alive. And I wish I knew the formula to get more of them. I mean, a big part of it seems to be being the only one. So if people search for it, they will find it. It's also not being a niche out of print game because I've done the whole niche out of print and that didn't really work very well. I, I, you know, I don't mean it was old and out of print. I mean, like it was brand new and I managed to get one of the last copies. And the thing is there were still plenty of other people who had copies. So maybe that was it. I, yeah, it's very hard to predict. And I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of rambling a bit. So let's move on from this. Basically, I don't know what's happening. It'll be interesting. I think we've got a um, Easter holidays coming up this month. So it'll be interesting. I think that should hopefully see a boost in views based off of Christmas, for example. Um, and then let's talk about what else happened this week. So we had two new arrivals. So the first was Zombie Tsunami, the board game, um, where they look kind of like aliens, which a few people have commented on. But yeah, I, this is based on an app, which is not surprising because it's from Lucky Duck Games. Now, they did the Vikings Gone Wild board game. What they are doing as a company is taking phone apps and making them into board games. That is their model. That is what they're doing. And so, unsurprisingly, this is another phone app. And the second they announced this, I went and I downloaded that app so I had an experience of the app before playing the board game this time, so I could kind of talk about the comparisons. This is going to be a much lighter game than Vikings Gone Wild, but they did such a good job with that, I'm really excited to try their new game. And then the other new arrival ugh, is this big chunky box here, Zephyr Winds of Change. Now, this is one that was up on Kickstarter, looked really interesting, and I was not able to back. So I was really pleased when they contacted me about doing videos for this. The game itself just looks really interesting, really narrative experience. So I'm excited to be doing that and getting more plays of that in so I can do those videos. So that arrived this week. Um, what have we then got coming up in the future? Because obviously I'm going to be working on these. I didn't get many videos done this week. I was working a lot on scripts and editing and yeah, just trying to clear some of the backlog of video, like from Aircon and stuff, getting that vi video edited and out. And that's why, you know, you saw a couple of Aircon videos, um, the review for this, because I'd recorded this quite, um, like a week or two ago, or pro possibly even more. And it was just a case of getting around to doing the editing. So I was, yeah, I was putting a lot of effort into editing, scripting, rather than recording in this last week. So I think this week I'm going to be focused more on the recording side of it. Um, talking about focused on that scripting and editing, this week is going to be another kind of odd week, I guess, in the same way this week just gone was. Because... There isn't going to be a huge amount of content. Well, there is and there isn't. I'm hoping to finally get the editing finished on the unboxings for Arcadia Quest Inferno. So those will hopefully be going up. And there's a lot of those, so that'll take a lot of time to upload. But I want to release them all at once. Um, I'm also hoping to get the editing finished on the Sandcastles demo. Now, Sandcastles was a game from Yay Games. I really love Omino's. It was great to try one of their other games. I found it a really nice game as well. Um, so, yeah, that demo should be coming up. And then also, uh, it's been a while since we've had a collaborative video. I'm really sorry about the phone going. If this was any other video, we'd be stopping now and I'd be having to re-record the entire thing. But this is Diaries, so I'm just going to go with it. And, yeah, I, I keep Diaries raw. If you haven't seen previous Diaries, you would know that I have quite, yeah, earlier on I used to have a lot more issues than I do now. Um, so yeah, the other thing is collaborative videos. Uh, I've been struggling to get people to contribute. So if you are interested in contributing, do let me know. Um, but we are going to have a Meeple Box 
fingers crossed, out this week. And that's going to be for Machi Koro. So keep your eyes peeled for those. And that's enough for today's diaries. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do, really. And as always, thanks for watching. And bye for now.